Hi, it's Andy again, and in this video we're going to study American Idiot by Green Day. Here we go. So the song starts with a power chord on the note A flat. So find the note A flat that's on the fourth fret on the low string. Begin there. Now turn that note into a power chord. So add your third finger and add your pinky. There you go, you got a power chord. Okay, if you haven't studied power chords, watch the video on power chords. But anyway, I assume you know what a power chord is, so play a power chord on the fourth fret. That's the chord A flat. Okay, now hit that chord twice. Okay, good. Then take your hand and chop the strings. Now we're going to move the chord to the next string. So now we're on a D flat chord. D flat power chord. Hit it twice. Chop the strings. Okay, so so far what we've studied is this. Okay, let's move on. The next chord you've got to travel down to the G flat. Play a G flat, second fret, low string. Turn it into a power chord. That's a G flat power chord. Play it twice. Okay, so so far we've studied the following notes. A flat, D flat, G flat. Okay, now for the next move, return back to the previous notes. So return to the D flat again. Return to the A flat again. Return to the G flat again. In other words, we're recycling the same three notes again, but in a different order. So, fret-wise, if you want to know what frets to play, you play four, then four on the next string, then two, back to four on the A string, four on the low string, two on the low string. Okay, so let's go through all those one more time. Here we go. You got A flat. You got D flat. You got G flat. Back to D flat again. Back to A flat again. Back to G flat again. Okay, now how many times do you strum each chord? Well, it goes two then two, then two, then one, then one, then one. Okay, so two, 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 one, one, one. Two, two, two. And then finish with one, one, one. One, one, one. All right, there we go. So now I'll play it in slow motion. Play along if you want to. Ready, go. There it is. Okay, again, ready, go. Okay, something that's important to learn when you're playing this riff is you want to chop the strings with a karate chop every time you switch chords. So in other words, you play the first chord, chop, 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 chop. Okay, if you want to sound like Green Day, you have to chop every chord. That's the way the song goes. Okay, here it goes a little faster. Ready, go. All right, let's repeat the riff over and over again just for the sake of practice. One, two, three, four.
Good. Okay, now let's zoom in on that pick a little bit more. So I place my pick on the sixth string and I strum the first chord. Then I chop. Okay, now where did I land my pick when I chopped the strings? The answer is right there on the fifth string. Then I'm ready to play the next chord. Okay, so you should practice that. So you're starting from the beginning of the song with your pick on the sixth string. Then get ready to chop. Here we go. Chop. Okay, where did you land your pick? I hope it was right on the fifth string. That means you're ready to play the next chord. Okay, now let's take it from the beginning of the song and go through all the chops. Here we go. So the first chord of the song, you play the sixth string. Then you chop and you land on the fifth string. Then you chop and you put your pick on the sixth string. Then you chop and you land your pick on the fifth string. Then you chop and you land your pick on the sixth string. Then you chop and you land your pick on the sixth string again. Okay, every time you chop a chord, you put your pick in a position where it's ready to play the next chord. So in other words, when you start from the top of the song, you play, and then you ask yourself, where is the next chord? It's going to be right here. And you put your pick right on it, then you're ready to play that chord. Okay, where's the next chord? The next chord is played on the low string, so I'm going to take my pick and I'm going to go, there we go, I'm ready to play. Okay, where's the next chord? The next chord is on the fifth string. The next chord is on the sixth string. Now I'm ready to play. The next chord is on the sixth string again. Okay, so always, always chop with your pick on the right string.